Hey, it's Radical Dan again. Um, these graphite electrodes that I made, they they dried out. I don't know if they're going to work because uh, a couple bubbles. But see, they got like air bubbles inside them when they was working. But what I'm going to do is I hooked up my battery charger right here, but I put on 6 volts, which I know is too high. But what I'm going to do is it's tap water. So I'm going to put baking soda in it as an electrolyte and see if they'll actually function probably not, whatever. see if they'll function as uh, electrodes to produce hydrogen I'm not sure if they will or not I think they have a pretty high resistivity so Bubbles form. You should actually see a lot of. You should see bubbles coming up on the negative side because that should be the uh, hydrogen. You should be see a lot more on the negative in there in a little bit. So let me turn it up to 12. Yeah, I feel it buzzing. So, so I'm not seeing much because the surface area and in the distance. So what I might try to do here is uh, I don't know if I can do this or not. Use this electrode and then bring it closer. So you can observe some reactions here. Yeah, see, I'm not really seeing anything. But I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Just tiny amount. I think it's got too high of a resistance. So that was the test. It was worth a shot. All right. See ya. Okay. Just as a test to show you that uh, um, that it should work. Uh, see, those was the, the graphite electrodes, and what I got here is uh, two empty brass from a rifle. So if I hold them together, watch how quick. See how quick those bubbles come off of that one? That's the negative side. That's the hydrogen. So see, brass is acting as a uh, as electrode. See how fast that's coming off, and see how slow that one's coming off. See, it's actually turning that color because it's got copper in it, so it's actually oxidizing the copper. It'll turn it green. This side right here, that's actually producing hydrogen right there, and that side's oxygen. So if I bring it farther apart, it slows it down a little bit because of the distance. But I put the electrolyte in there, so it makes the water more conductive. Yeah, you see that side how it's turning green and how it's floating off right there? It's actually oxidizing the copper that's in the brass. I don't know if maybe that's a good way to get copper out of brass. I don't know. But, yeah, that's just what like it should look like. But, of course, you know brass, like metal, has a low resistance. So, all this uh, electricity, which 12 volts is really high for a cell. It should be around 2 volts. But, yeah, that's turning. That's tarnishing. Well, no, it's like plating it, isn't it? See, that's what it should do. But you saw how that was doing it wasn't working at all I might follow this up though because it looks like it's oxidizing copper into solution that might be a good way to get uh, metallic copper I don't know all right have a good one